I've had this watch for over two years now, you guys, and I have never done a what's on my Apple Watch video, and this thing changed my life. Hello everybody, happy 2022. It's so good to see you again. It's been a while. I moved, which is why it's taken me a long time to figure out where I'm gonna film. This is temporary, but what's up? So in today's video, I'm showing you guys what is on my Apple Watch, all the apps that I use. It's honestly not that many, I keep it pretty minimal. I'm gonna show you guys some hacks that you may or may not have known that are so handy. And then I'm gonna end with some customization tips so you can make your Apple Watch whatever you want it to be this year. So I'm really excited to share this video with you guys. Without further ado, let's get into it. So starting out with the face of my watch, Apple has some really cute face options. I love that they add a lot of new ones all the time. For me, what I have found is every time I switch my face to like a super cute one. I just don't find it as functional and I always end up switching it back. So I don't think my face is necessarily the cutest in the world, but it's very functional for what I use it for. So here is my current watch face. Basically, I keep it pretty simple. I have my activity in the upper left, which honestly does help me stay active. It's telling me to stand up once an hour. And even though I usually don't listen to it, it has definitely helped. And I love just tracking it right there on the front. In the middle, I have my calendar. I honestly can't function without my calendar and I'm not always clicking into it. So it is really nice to be able to just glance down and see like what's coming up in the day. And then on the bottom row, I have my text messages on the left, Spotify on the right, and my Basecamp app App, which is the gym that I go to on the right. So the Basecamp app is like the exact same as the workout app. It's just through the gym that I go to. So it tracks my fitness there. So that is the face that I have. I also have a couple other saved faces that I thought were cute, but again, I always end up switching back. I'm a creature of habit, what can I say? <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna show you the apps that I have and kind of in order of the frequency that I use them in. Like I said, I like to keep it pretty minimal. I only really have on here what is absolutely necessary. I wanna be able to put my phone down and know that anything that's an emergency or something important will come through to my watch. But other than that, I don't wanna just be bogged down with notifications the way my phone already is, so I keep it pretty minimal. So starting off, I have the Activity app and the Basecamp app. I literally just told you about those, but those are definitely my most frequently used apps on here. Every time I work out, I click on Basecamp, start a workout. And what I love is that it obviously connects to your health app on your phone. I can see all of my workout stats. Here's from today. And I just tapped a button on my watch during class and it worked. Okay, the next thing I use the most on my Apple Watch is the camera app. Now here's a major, major trick for you. If you guys haven't already heard, you can use your watch as a Bluetooth remote to shoot awesome photos for yourself. So if you put your phone somewhere on a window ledge or a tripod, and then you just go ahead and open the camera remote app on your watch. And as you can see, it literally shows, can you see it? Sort of. So it shows exactly what your phone is showing. And then you can literally set it to be either three second or 10 second timer. Okay, for the sake of demonstration, that works, but obviously I wouldn't be like holding my phone and doing it. Okay, I honestly do this a lot because I have to shoot a lot of photos at home and often don't have somebody to help me. And even if they do, they're not always very good. So the Bluetooth remote has been so awesome. Like honestly, life-changing. Another thing that's super, super handy is that I actually have my watch unlock my MacBook. So whenever I get close to my MacBook and I just like press the space bar or something, if I have my watch on, it'll automatically unlock my computer so I don't have to type in a passcode or use the touch ID. So in order to set that up, you just wanna go jump on your MacBook, go to Apple system preferences, and then click on security and privacy and make sure that the box is checked that says allow Apple Watch to unlock your computer. The next apps that I use obviously are messages. So text messages, messages and the phone app. Honestly, this is gonna sound backwards, but having the Apple Watch has helped me disconnect so much because let's say I'm at dinner and I wanna put my phone away in my purse, zip it up. I don't wanna touch it. I wanna be very, very present. Unfortunately, we live in the day and age where if an emergency happened and somebody thought they could reach you and you weren't reachable, like that would suck, right? And I hate that it's like that. I hate that everybody expects you to be online all the time, but unfortunately that's the world we live in. So what's super nice is I do feel that freedom to be able to put my phone away way because I know that if there's an emergency, I'll be able to see it on here. Again, that's why I keep my notifications very minimal. I also like that you can quickly respond to something like if you need to, they have a lot of custom replies that are sort of already there and I'll get to creating your own custom replies in a second. So that's really nice. Next life-changing little pro tip is using Apple Pay from the watch. 
God, it's like paying for things just becomes easier and easier and easier. First, you know, all you need is your phone. So cool. And then all you need is your watch. I don't even have to get my phone out of my purse. Literally all you have to do to access this is double tap the side button and then just hold your watch near the reader at the store that you're in. So very scary seeing as it's so easy to pay for things, <laughs> but also super convenient, especially like at the airport when you're holding a million things and you just don't want to get anything out and you can just do it. So the next feature or function that I use a lot is pinging my iPhone. So if I ever can't find my phone, you just pull up on this screen right here and click on the ping button then it'll make a noise. What you may not have known is that if you tap and hold the ping button on your watch, it'll actually show your iPhone flashlight. So if you're like in the dark or you can't see where your phone is, but you can hear it, cause that happens to me sometimes, it'll kind of shine this flashlight. Let's do it right now. Haha. -ha. So that's super nice. I never knew you could do that. So it's a little trick for you. Now I've always wondered, what do you do when you can't find your watch? So actually there's a trick for that. You can like reverse ping. If you ask Siri, where's my Apple watch? It'll ping your watch. Let's see if my phone will listen and not my watch. Hey Siri, where's my Apple watch? Looking for your Apple watch. It's nearby, pinging your Apple watch now. So I thought that was a neat little trick. Next is honestly in case of emergencies. So the watch has the same emergency SOS feature that your phone has, but it's even simpler. Literally all you do is double tap the crown button. You can enable this in your settings if it is not enabled or you can turn it off if you're worried that you'll like do that accidentally. I never have accidentally set it off, but I do think it's super helpful that if you double tap the crown button, it'll call emergency services. So if you're ever in a pickle, um, there you go. I actually saw a really interesting Apple commercial for that the other day. I almost cried. It was like real stories of people's lives being saved because of their watch. Anyway, marketing, it'll get you. All right, and then one of the apps that I do like looking at is Subcount. So I have my vlog channel hooked into this app called Subcount and it basically just shows me where my subscribers are at. Um, not vain at all, but no, really, it just helps me kind of track and I think it's really cool. So that's kind of my watch and how I use it. And now let's get into a couple customization tips for you. So number one, like I briefly mentioned earlier, you can create your own custom text replies. I think this is great because again, when you're on the go and you wanna be able to reply something, it's really nice to have it be a custom reply and not one of the weird ones that they have in there that you probably never actually say in real life. So if you go to your watch app and you just go on down to messages, if you click on default replies, you can toggle on the smart replies, but then you can also add a replies. So you could say like, hang on, I'm on my watch. I'll reply in a second. Done. Then when you go to reply to a message on your phone, it'll show you your answer right there. You can also edit this list. So get rid of all the ones that you know you're not gonna use. Like, sorry, can't talk right now. I just feel like nobody actually says that in real life. Like ever, someone would be like, oh my God, are you okay? Like. Yeah, anyway, my next little customization tip is that you can actually change the colors and the complications, which are basically like the apps on your watch from your watch, not just from the watch app on your phone. Are you confused yet? But seriously, I thought you always had to go to your phone to change these things, but it's actually not the case. If you tap and hold on the face of your watch, it'll pop up this screen that actually kind of shows you your faces, but you can actually click on edit and change the colors right from your watch. And then you can also change the complications like that. I never knew you could do that. Another thing you can do is make your app dock customized. So basically the app dock is when you just push on the side button, usually either your most recently used apps or your favorite apps will show up. And to change that, you'll just go to your watch app on your phone and then click on dock. And then you can change it to be either recents or favorites. If it's favorites, you can choose what those are. Boom, boom. Sure. But yeah, my camera died, but that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you could do me a favor, leave some video suggestions down below for me to check out. That would be so helpful. I want to bring you guys some awesome videos here in 2022. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Bye.